And in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to install one of the best ROMs for your TV box. You'll be able to update your TV box. In this case, if you experience freezing or slowness on your TV box, maybe that your room is not working properly. It could be a heavy ROM that's causing your TV box to freeze. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to install a smooth and lightweight ROM for your TV box. What are you going to need, folks, to install this ROM? You'll need a laptop to transfer the files to the TV box. What are you going to need folks, to install this ROM? You'll need a laptop. Transfer the files to the TV box. You'll need a toothpick or a matchstick to press the reset button. Carry out the ROM transfer procedure. First of all, what you need to do is check if your board is compatible with the system. You're going to open your board. There are four screws and it's pretty easy to open. And inside the pebble box, check what version your board is. Here are four screws. You use a Phillips screwdriver to open it up. This is the screwdriver here. And by removing the board, it will show you version of your board. Mine, it's an R32QB3. After checking that, you can put your board back in the, in the little box and close your TV box so you can use it again to carry out the whole procedure. And now that you've checked the version of your TV box's board, you're going to go to your computer, right? I'm going to leave a link in the first pinned comment where you can download files. As soon as you download the file to your computer, it will come compressed. You'll be clicking there and extracting your files. This folder will appear for you. You're going to click on this folder and inside this folder, all the files you need to update your TV box will appear. You're going to go to the drive folder. You're going to run the drive install file as an administrator. These are the drivers to make the connection between your TV box and your computer work. You right click and run as administrator. Here it will show up for you to install. Click on install again. Once the driver update is done, you're going to enter this folder called Factor Tool. This is the little program that help you upload the firmware for your TV box. This file here, the update, is file 1 in ISO format for you to put in the little program. First, you will enter here. After installing the driver in Factor 2, and you will run it as an administrator. Right click, run as administrator, and you will click yes here. Here, the software will already show up for you. The firmware will appear here, and you will click on firmware. Then, you will be selecting that ISO image that came in that file. It is a named date. You select it, and the firmware will show up for you here. And now it's the procedure for you to connect the cable and press the reset button to set it up. Here on the TV box, it has this AV input. Inside this AV input, there is a button that you can use to reset your TV box. You will be using it to connect to your computer. You will connect the USB cable. This is the USB cable, which has two USB ends. If you don't have it, I'll leave a link in the description. If you want to get one, and it also helps the channel, you will connect one end to the computer. And we will very carefully and gently press the reset button on the device on your TV box and securely connect the other end of the USB cable to your TV box. The computer will make a sound indicating that it is securely connected to your computer and you will be going back to the software. Once you've done that folks, it will be recognized on your computer. Mine is being recognized here on port 2 of my computer. And as you can see here, my TV box is connected to the computer and it shows that it's connected to port 2 and right after that, 
you will click this green button here, folks, which will start the process of transferring the ROM from your computer to your TV box. At this moment, you don't unplug the cable, okay? Otherwise, you might mess up your TV box or damage the system. You all wait for the whole process. Keep your computer still. Make sure if it's a laptop, it has battery, right? Or plug in your charger so you don't interrupt the process of loading the of the ROM in your TV box. All right, folks, Voom updated. It should show up for you, success right. It will give you a green light here. My God, that's two success, six minutes and 41 here. One cool, Voom updated there. Let's connect the cables and test to see if this Voom update worked or not. And the next step is for you to connect your cables, right? And to be testing your TV box. I'm going to plug in the power cable here and let's wait to see if it will start up. Here the system is already starting. Initialize. Here as you can see it's already starting up with a different system from the one that was on the TV box. It means that it worked and now you're going to do the basic settings for your TV box. So that's what I wanted to show you. Just follow these steps and you'll be able to do it. If it works for you guys, leave your comment at the end of the video. Turn on the notification bell and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to leave two videos. You're definitely going to like, click on one of them. And we'll see you in the next video. Until next time.